party, 1769 to 1821. So we are saying Napoleon Bonaparte was born in 1769 at a town on the island of Corsica. This island they was annexed to France a year before Napoleon was born. Hence, he was a Frenchman by birth. He was born from the poor family, but he secured a scholarship and he studied in the Brienne Military Academy. So in this kind of arrangement, we are looking at a man who was born in 1769 during his youthfulness. He attempted to liberate Corsica from the French overlordship, which led to his expulsion. This what? Expulsion. So in this kind of arrangement, we need to understand the key reasons that led to the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. In other words, what were the key reasons that led to the rise of Napoleon? Number one, the annexation of Corsica Island by France in 1768. So we are saying the annexation of Corsica was responsible for the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. In 1768, the island where Napoleon was born became a French territory as France got it from the Republic of Genoa, Italy. So we believe by this time, the annexation of Corsica led to the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte to power in 1799. So in this kind of arrangement, I can say, as the Corsica was conquered by France, mind you, at one time it was part of Italy. So this man was supposed at one time to be an Italian. But since Corsica was conquered in 1768, and for him he was born in 1769, it is this that made him to be a what? A Frenchman by birth. And this led to his rise to power. Because they had to choose him since he was a what? A Frenchman. So we are realizing the annexation of Corsica Island by France led to the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. Another one, the role played by Napoleon's father, Charles Bonaparte. This man had friendly relations with the nobility class in France, and this contributed to Napoleon's rise to power. The friendship of his father with the nobility assisted Napoleon to study in the precious military academies or schools of Brienne and later Paris, which were supposed to be for the children of the nobles. So we believe by this time, the Charles Bonaparte took Napoleon in the Brienne Military Academy. This was the academy for sons of nobles and clergy. But what happened? By this time, since he studied in Brienne, he got so many issues. He studied about different revolutions that took place in the world. This sharpened his mind and, of course, groomed him later helping him to rise to what? To power. We are looking at the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. Then Napoleon's family background explains why he came to power. By the fact that Napoleon was supposed to be an Italian. He hated the French citizenship, which, for, which was forced onto him. He was also born from a poor family. And therefore, while in the military academies, Napoleon faced loneliness, and because he was among the sons of the rich, this gave him courage and endurance, and therefore struggled to rise to what? To power. So we are seeing Napoleon's family background. He was coming from a very poor family. So at Brienne, the man was so lonely. So it is this that made him to work very hard, because he had a mission to liberate himself and even to liberate his family. So it is this that made him to work very hard. And finally, this led to his rise to power. Friends, we are looking at the rise of a man called Napoleon Bonaparte. Another key aspect that led to his rise to power 
was the French Revolution of 1789. Let me tell you, the French Revolution of 1789 led to the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte because it abolished the social class divisions. At one time, people were divided into classes, nobles, clergy, and the peasants. So it is the French Revolution that abolished the social class divisions. And by this time, all of people were taken to be equal. That's why even Napoleon, a son of a peasant, was chosen to become a leader. Because by this time, all of people are supposed to be what? Equal. Still, the revolution created the shortage of military officers. We are realizing the shortage of military officers. It is the French Revolution that led to the death of great officers. And by the time of Napoleon's rise to power, people looked around and they realized that in this kind of arrangement, that Napoleon was the only man in the room. That's why he was chosen. Since many military officers died as a result of the French Revolution, then it led to the reign of terror. The revolution led to the reign of terror, and Napoleon capitalized the reign of terror to campaign for himself because he promised the people that he was the only man who was going to solve their what? problems. That's why he was chosen, as he convinced the people that he was the only man who was going to solve their problems. Another one, it provided Napoleon with an opportunity to display his military skills. You remember, as a result of the French Revolution, Napoleon was sent by the directorial government to go and liberate Italy from Austria. When he reached in Italy, in this kind of arrangement, he managed to liberate Italy from Austria. As he liberated Italy from Austria, it is this that made him to display his military what? tactics. As he displayed his military tactics, this gave him an upper hand and finally led to his rise to power. Because people looked at him as a great star and a great fighter, that's why they had to choose him. Then another one, it exposed Napoleon to very many influential leaders. It is the French Revolution that made Napoleon to interact with the big names in the room. Among them, of course, Barras. Among them, Danton, Robespierre. And it is this that led to his rise to power. In this kind of arrangement, as he interacted with the big names in the room, this gave him an upper hand and finally led to his rise to power. Friends, we are looking at the rise of a man. That